semiconductors the material that has really revolutionized our modern lives. This is the age of computers, everything is being computer controlled, your uh, bank accounts, your uh, debit card, your uh, Aadhaar card, your mobile phones, everywhere things are being computer controlled and the basic circuit of computers depends on semiconducting materials. ISRO has sent uh, Mangalyaan to the planet Mars, Chandrayaan to moon, all the controlling system, all the information system, all the photographs which have been sent by these uh, spacecrafts to the earth stations, all are controlled by circuits which use semiconductors. Mobile phones, three fourth of the population of India has mobile phones. Prime minister will use mobile phones and a rickshaw puller will use mobile phones. Our uh, solar, solar panels which is coming in a big way to solve the energy crisis, LED, LED lamps, LED bulbs, LED tubes, the medical instruments, everything depends on electronic circuits which is using semiconductors. What is so special about the semiconductor? Why semiconductor is so important? We have good conductors, we have uh, poor conductors, we have insulators, excellent insulators, we have excellent conductors, we have copper, we have gold, we have silver, excellent conductors, we have uh, diamond, excellent insulators. But this uh, in between, the conductivity is in between called semiconductors, they are doing such a revolution. So, what is so special about it? Indeed, indeed something is very, very special about the semiconductors. People name the ages in the history of civilization with materials, like we talk of stone age, we talk of bronze age, we talk of iron age and now people say that the modern age is silicon age. So, the entire this uh, period is being named on a semiconductor, something should be very, very special about it and indeed something very special is there in the physics of semiconductor. In this particular course, physics of semiconductor, we will try to explore this beautiful class of materials and the physics going on there and uh, the applications because it essentially it is important because of the applications. Our focus will be on the physics of it and that is why the name of the course is physics of semiconductors, but we will definitely try to understand the devices which are made using this semiconductors. This uh, course will be needing a little bit uh, knowledge or feel of quantum mechanics. We will not be solving any Schrodinger equation, so not much of the quantum mechanics is needed, but uh, something like Bohr's theory of hydrogen atom. So, if that much of quantum mechanics uh, you are familiar with, then it is ok with us little bit of uh, uh, electronics, uh, Ohm's law, little bit of Kirchhoff's law, that is the prerequisite. So, in our system, class 12th is the right standard where all these things are introduced. So, students of class 12 and above, BSc, BTEC, whoever, whoever is taking a course in electronics, semiconductors will be needed and this course can be helpful. And then of course, teachers, all the teachers who are teaching physics uh, at any level, especially plus 2, then degree, then PG. So, those teachers will definitely enjoy this particular course 
and uh, I hope this particular course which will be a blend of uh, physics, theory, experiments with semiconductors, little bit uh, small small experiments with semiconductors and introduction to the applications like uh, our p n junction diodes, our LEDs, our solar cells, our photodiodes like that, our uh, varieties of thermistors, negative temperature coefficient materials all those applications. So, it will be blend of all those things and I hope uh, all the participants will enjoy this course.